Here's why the all new Adobe Captivate or Captivate 12, if you will, is the best version of Adobe Captivate so far. And that's simply that they listen to your feedback. Here I am in this project. If I come up with an idea that I'd like to see implemented, or let's say some action does not perform the way I would expect it to, I can click on the help drop down menu and select provide feedback. This is going to take me to a website called CP user voice, adobe.com slash go slash CP user voice. And from here, I can provide feedback on what it is that I'd like to see changed in Adobe Captivate. I want to show you the feedback I've given so far and what's really cool about this particular user forum. So here's all the feedback that I've given. You can see that they tag each of the items that I'm looking for. So in this example, they needed more info. I, I needed to provide a, a further explanation. So I ended up recording a short video for them to watch and they can learn from that there. Uh, also, you know, add multiple video on question slides as a form of feedback. So that's in backlog. It's available as something that they're going to look at in the future. Here's the one that's most exciting. So one of the feedback items I've given is random question pools. Implementation has started. So I can expect to see this feature in a future release of Adobe Captivate. This is really useful. And I think that the more we communicate with Adobe, the ideas that we would like to see in future versions of Adobe Captivate, the more likely we're going to get what it is that we want.